Hi, it's James here. Today we're going to have a look at a problem that came up in one of my projects. I found it hard to work out what was going on. So I thought I would make a record of it in the form of a tutorial in case anybody else ran into the same thing. In this particular issue, when I used float.pass, it worked perfectly on what I thought every single app. However, in a couple of countries, clients were coming back and saying it wasn't working. And it took me a while to realize, but it was actually because of the culture settings. And when you use float.pass in different countries, you actually get different results. So first of all, I'll show you what's happening, and then I'll show you how to solve it. So I'm going to make a folder for my scripts and just create a passing example script. And let's just open that in Visual Studio. Now we'll do this all in the start, so we won't need our update function. The first thing we'll need is a string that we're going to pass. I'm going to make it 1.05 and as you'll know, notice this is a float and you'd expect to get 1.05 back when you pass it. So let's do that next. And finally, we'll just debug that to the console so that we can see what our pass flow actually is. Let's save this and we'll just see what the result is. I'm just going to drop my passing scripts onto my main camera. It doesn't really matter where you put it for the purposes of this. I'm just going to hit play. And you can see here, the result that I've got is 1.05. Now let's go back to Visual Studio. Now I'm going to add another line of code. And usually when you're in a different language, you'll have different culture settings. But I'm going to add a line of code, which is going to force my computer, even though it's set in English US, to go into a different type of culture. So I've added the globalization library just so that we don't have to go system.globalization before culture info. Now let's play this again and see what happens. You can now see that my past float is actually 105, not 1.05. And so this is what will happen if you have a country that has its decimal point in a different way and uses commas instead of decimal points. I was surprised about this and it really took me by surprise, but this will happen essentially with anybody who has their phone set to certain other languages. And not just rare languages, things like Italian would not support uh, 1.05. But let me show you how to fix this. So with this float.pass, you can actually add other, other things to it. And the thing that we're going to add to it is we're going to add some culture info. And this time we're going to send it English US. Now let's save this and give it a go. Now when you press play, you can see that it's been passed into a float. My suggestion would be when you're trying to solve this, is not to put your culture info in each time, but instead use this line at the top, except set it to English US or whatever the language is that you are using when you're coding. And that way it'll pass the same way on your computer as it does everywhere else. So the short is, this is a single line of code that you need to put. You just need to put it in one of your start functions. You don't need it everywhere. And once this has been called, it'll make force the culture info to be whatever is here. I hope you found this useful, and especially if you've run into the same problem. If you do, please like, subscribe, and comment. 
really helps me grow this channel. Hope you enjoy your game development.